Welcome back. Anthem kneeler Colin Kaepernick says he still wants to play in the NFL, and he's ready to share the story behind his protests. The quarterback is working on a new memoir that will be released through his own publishing company, writing, quote, My desire to play football is still there. I still train five days a week. I'm ready to go. I'm ready for a phone call, tryout, workout at any point in time. Here to react is former NFL player Jack Brewer. Welcome, Jack. What are your thoughts on Colin Kaepernick's statement and the fact that he's ready to play at any time? Follow the money. Uh, Colin Kaepernick uh, is masterful. Uh, he's figured out how to really just profit from the oppression narrative. Uh, and you just watch everything that's happening throughout this entire ordeal. Uh, you'll notice that Colin Kaepernick continues to get paid each time, no matter it's from Nike uh, or uh, whatever else he's doing now with this book. I think he'll continue to do this. If he can paint the picture that Colin Kaepernick is the slave and NFL team owners are the slave owners, slave owners, uh, he'll continue to make money. Jack, let me show you a little bit more of what Kaepernick's saying. He says this, quote, I learned early on that I'm fighting against the systematic oppression, dehumanization, and colonization. Who controls the narrative shapes the reality of how the world views society. It controls who's loved, who's hated, who's degraded, and who's celebrated. You agree? You can't, you can't talk out of both sides of your mouth. You know, at one, at one side, uh, you can talk about oppression. On the other side, you have to figure out how to do something about it. Uh, and and if, you're, if you don't uh, open-mindedly uh, approach these type of issues, then you're really being a hypocrite. You know, you know, people like President Trump who comes in and passes criminal justice reform, uh, who actually passes policies hmm. to help African Americans and help folks in this country uh, do better uh, when you don't give him credit for it but at the same time if someone agrees with your your liberalism right. uh, then those are the folks that you back I mean it's hypocritical and Jack uh, your thoughts as a former player you know Colin Kaepernick just had this kind of widely accessible media tryout and then the last minute he changed locations there were ultimately some teams that couldn't go because they had to catch flights what do you make of the fact that he was already essentially given a second chance a highly publicized one and he he didn't really take advantage of it he didn't perform he's still not on a team why is he still making himself part of the conversation why is he still trying to be eligible follow the money uh, because every time that he does this he's able to continue to push his brand you know Nike started a, a line for Colin Kaepernick which God bless him I hope he makes a tremendous amount of yeah. money but let's not be blinded to the fact that the reason why he's keeping his name out there uh, is to keep that fight in that battle between the NFL team owners so and that's exactly what's happening right now so Jack real quick do you think he's trying to get an XFL deal the XFL in week two I'm from DC the DC uh, defenders are a hot team They've got a quarterback, Cardell Jones, who actually played in the NFL and is not demanding the kind of money that Kaepern Colin Kaepernick is apparently asking of the XFL. He'll never play in the XFL. He doesn't really want to play in the NFL. That's why he didn't go to the workout. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're right. The, the, the Cardell is looking really good, man. That D.C. team is strong. Uh, they're going to have a, another tough game this week, but I think they'll continue to do well. Uh, that league has do done tremendously well compared to what folks really thought would, would happen. I mean, you see the quarterback play. It's, it's been pretty fun to watch. Well, it's something. And so, bottom line, you just don't think Kaepernick would take a lower salary opportunity in the XFL because he just wants it about him. Mm. Why would he? Why yeah. would he? He's making millions of dollars from Nike, and as long as right. he keeps out this slave Jack, or slave owner narrative, it'll we, continue. We got to let you go, Jack. Uh, thanks for being here.